Taxi drivers, what's the deepest secret you've overheard in your cab? That he was cheating on his wife with his cocaine dealer. Who came from the same country as I did, which is how the conversation got started, and it had been going on for 25 years. I don't know what impresses me more. A 25 year affair or a 25 year cocaine habit. Edit. To clarify since a lot of you are speculating. The dealer was a woman. Quite good in bed too. From his detailed description. It was my first fare of the night. The first time working there as a cab driver. I was helping out a friend of my dad's who owned a bar deep in Ontario. CA by driving his regulars home. Fun times. Lot of fights. Incredible amounts of shenanigans between the patrons. And incredibly loud Caridus blasting from the speakers all throughout the night. I'm impressed that he's had the same dealer for 25 years. Two lawyers representing opposite sides in a divorce planning to prolong the proceedings. Actual cab driver, posting from my cab on a slow night. At that. Comma about a year and a half ago. I was driving some folks from the college town where I worked to a much larger city about 40 minutes away, a surprisingly large fare. Anyway. Over the course of the trip it became clear that they had come into town to deal coke at the club I picked them up at. Part of their conversation was in Spanish. So I'm not super confident. But I think they sold about half a kilo that night. They paid me from a huge roll of mostly large bills. The leader of the group was also clearly high as hell and started to get really freaked out and insisted that I pull off the expressway to get some soda. I had an unopened monster energy in the cab. Handed it over. Ended up making almost 100% on the tip, one of the very best runs I've ever done. Oh god I would spend 10. We used to have this customer. Super nice lady. Taking care of 5 of her grandkids because her own kids are no good and she stepped in to take care of them. We took her shopping. To the bank. Took the kids to school. Did all kinds of stuff for her. But when I started driving nights. Prostitute. I've driven cabs in Australia on and off for about 2 years. I think the worst story confession I got was from a dude who rushedly booked my cab to travel from one end of the Gold Coast the city I live work in, to the other. He told me he was in such a hurry was because his girlfriend had just run him and told him she had been raped. She went to a party without him because there had been fighting. During the course of the ride he told me that he had been thinking of dumping her. But that with this he didn't know what to do. Dropped him off at her place and he was pretty messed up. Pretty bad situation to be in for both of them. Hope they managed to sort everything out. As a limo driver I heard an older, 55-ish, bachelorette party discussing the liberator pad and how it makes their husband's tiny dick feel much larger. They were pretend moaning in the back while I had the divider down. I got my ass grabbed by one of the bridesmaids at the end of the night while she slipped me a C note. Removed. That the guy got his FCK buddy pregnant. And that he couldn't sleep from seeing the kid's heartbeat the day before. We were on a midnight cookout run, it's a fast food chain. The Soma of VA and NC. Also that a guy's life was exactly like Nick Cage's in leaving Las Vegas. Confess that his Filipino wife left him and took the kids years earlier and he was basically drinking himself dead. I've learned the best his host to sit back and take it all in. Short stint driving cab in Boston area. Two very attractive passengers come in. I assume they are a couple. Even though the man is clearly far older than the woman. Talking loudly about getting away from Boston and going to Paris. I try to strike up some conversation and ask them how long they are going for. And they say they are moving there the next day. Turns out the dude was married. Like. To another woman. His wife was out for the night. And he was just packing up some stuff and moving without telling her. Or his three kids until he was there. Asked me if I could give them a ride to the airport in the morning. And I'd have to meet them around the block. I said no. I got no tip. I'd have said yes and then not shown up in the morning. Cuz FCK that guy. I had three girls spend the cab ride talking about the fake boobs of the middle one. 
Apparently the best place to get a boob job is Beverly Hills. They're cheap there. Because there's such competition for the business. And they are very good. Because they deal with a lot of volume. Comma a lot of volume. That is all. Drove a cab for a while on weekends while in college. I had dated this girl for about a month when she confessed she had a boyfriend in Germany. She told me all about him and that he was going to be moving in with her. Stopped seeing her. A few months later I pick up a drunk couple at a bar. They're all over each other. Making out in the back. The guy is German. We drop off the girl. Then he has me take him home. He starts telling me how he just moved here to be with his girlfriend. But she's out of town for the weekend. He says American girls are easy cause they're suckers for guys with accents and he cheats on his oblivious girlfriend all the time. Yep. It was the guy. I said nothing as I dropped him at Carrie's place. Always wondered what happened with them. Now that is a taxi cab confession. Where was this? I was a dispatcher at a local cab company for a few years. We had been picking up a young woman and ferrying her from her house to her boyfriend's for a few months. Eventually. She stopped calling. In a town with call cabs. We always kind of take that as a sign of a breakup and gossip about it over the radios and in the office. Then a couple months later. The news hits that her boyfriend had attempted to murder her. And not just murder her she was beaten savagely. Stabbed repeatedly in her genitals. And shoved into his trunk. She survived and was rescued. But only just. The picture painted of this man was a weird one. He traveled alone a lot in Israel and Russia. Immersed himself in martial arts and weapons training. And had an incredibly shallow effect. I believe they had just broken up. She started seeing someone else. And he hunted her down. He always worried about regulars after that. Sometimes calling the ones who dropped off the radar. The darkly poetic element to all of this was his last name. Jaeger. Which means hunter in German. I picked up an older gentleman from a local discreet all-male brothel. He was articulate. Sweet. Funny. And also male prostitute. He was on his way to see his mother at the nursing home. He told me his mother does not know what he does and thinks he is just a teacher. He wants to quit working in the brothel but he cannot afford to keep his house and pay for his mother's care on teaching wages. He was very forthcoming with all this and became a regular client. He tipped very well also. Was in a cab in Nick with a Nigerian driver and a fire engine with siren screaming came up behind us. This guy decided he had to get out of the way by driving faster than the fire engine. He was yelling at cars to move weaving in and out of traffic. Cutting in the oncoming lane etc. Just going. I finally told him you could just pull over. This seemed like a totally new idea to him. He pulled over and the fire engine whizzed past. I ordered a cab one night after I missed the bus home. After telling the driver where to go. He got a call. He apologized and closed the plexiglass window to take it privately. I guess the ceiling on it was off or something like that because I heard him very clearly say that he'd pick up his kilo in 20 minutes. He then opened the window. Apologized again and asked me if I had seen the recent football game. At least he was a nice guy. Edit. Just to clarify. This is southern Florida. Odds are it was coke. Again. He was a pretty nice dude. I even slid him an extra 10 because he found a shortcut that shaved 15 minutes off of the trip. Taxi drivers actually can very easily traffic drugs in their cars. As they are constantly moving. And rarely get searched by cops. They also have plausible deniability if they get caught. Are you in any country besides US? It could have been his wife saying she needed a kilo of rice to make a bondigas for dinner. This is only semi-relevant. But I picked up a guy once who started talking about a night he recently had out of town. And met some hot bartender or something. It was a very awkward conversation because it seemed like there were a lot of weird pauses whenever I would reply. And a lot of his responses to what I said didn't quite make sense. After a solid 15 minutes of this. I realized he was talking to a friend via a bluetooth headset. I've never felt so dumb. I worked taking calls for a cab company. 
not as a driver but I had a fairly interesting call once. It was late at night and this girl was ordering her cab like this. So um. Oh. Oh. Yeah could you. Do. Yeah I'd like a cab too. Hey. Would you mind not licking my PSSY when I'm talking to the taxi guy? Thanks. Dot. Well sorry about that. Anyway. Goes on to complete the order. Maybe not much of a secret except in so far the secret of what was going on was revealed. Yeah. Can you send a cab to the Vine on 7th and Sherwood? This guy won't stop licking my PSSY and I really need to get home. Not a cab driver but I am a very white guy that due to my military time can speak a fair amount of Urdu. I got to listen to my Pakistani cab driver in Vegas answer his phone and start talking about my newly wedded wife's tits. You should have surprised him. Some guy told me he was going to shoot her. Was his name Joe? I heard this from a cab driver in Miami once Mexicans need to realize that a lot of white people in the states know Spanish and maybe shouldn't talk about their driver like that. My grandfather drove a taxi for a little while in the 1950s, important to the story. He does an overnight shift and picks a woman up with a guy my grandfather thought was her husband. And drives them to her house. The next morning. Sunday. He picks the same woman up at her house with a different guy. They were on their way to church. He got a good tip on that one. Not 100% sure. But I'm fairly certain I heard two guys planning a murder. Hey. I can't believe this is a question on Reddit and I actually have a good answer. John Corbett's TTY vanity project band was in town and I picked the four of them up and brought them to the bars. All of them were talking about how they were itching for some college town PSSY. Especially John. Corbett's been dating Bo Derek since 2002. Poor thing. Also. I saw his set the next day and they should spend less time getting wasted and cheating on their women and more time practicing how to play sing. Ugh. Comma they were itching for some college town PSSY. I got pretty itchy after some college town PSSY once. Not much of a secret. But I think this is his most appropriate thread for this story. My dad picked up some sketchy looking guy who was mumbling to himself for the whole ride and took him to his destination. A couple of days later my dad gets a call from the police saying that the guy he picked up murdered someone the night that my dad picked him up. He then had to testify against him in court as a witness. I don't know the outcome of the case though. This man and wife got in my cab a while back. They were just talking lightly. And I'm fairly certain I heard I still can't believe our son got you pregnant. I could tell the man was super pissed. I stopped listening after I heard that. You know. They might have been saying this to mess with you. When I was in college in quiet lines with my friend. I'd say things like that. Yeah but thank god that metal hanger worked. I was scared. Or bleach cleans up blood surprisingly well. You can't even see the stain anymore. My best friend had a pretty rough relationship with a guy who got her pregnant and forced her to get an abortion. He was verbally abusive and always told her very nasty things. Then played the I love you card to get her to forgive him. He was on the phone with her one time when we were in a cab with another friend. And us being drunk my friend and I just started reaming her out. Telling her the guy is trash. Doesn't deserve to be with him. Is mentally sick. ETC. And the cab driver with this big shti eating smile on his face started joining in telling my friend to tell the guy to screw off and to give him the phone so he could put him in his place. Saying that he'd get his cousins to wreck his shti if he tries to do anything to hurt her. She ended up just hanging up and bursting into tears and when we were at our destination the cab driver spent 10 or so minutes speaking to her to make her stop crying. We tipped him very well. Actual cabbie in a college town. Closest I have is when I picked up a bunch of guys from the Doucher East frat in town. They were all talking about how one of them was the man for his SZL exploits that night. I like money. So I played into it. As the story progresses. I come to find out he is being praised for molesting some girl that passed out at the party. I dropped them. Collected the fair and generous tip. 
Then I told the guy flat out that he is a rapist. And that I hope he ends up in prison with a ruined life. They went from drunken laughter and high fives. Straight to slack jawed shock. I drove away with their money. Not me. But my friend overheard the driver call him something to the effect of a coxicking Jew when he was exiting the cab. My friend's mom is a mashety Persian. He looks like his dad. And responded in perfect Farsi I shouldn't have tipped you. Asshole. He said the driver's reaction was priceless. Out of college I drove cab for a summer. And one night I was driving a older couple to the airport. Turns out the wife was flying out the husband was staying. The husband was an older gentleman in a nice suit. After he said his goodbyes he had me drive across town where we picked up a much younger man. Who I originally took to be his son. That is until they started making out in the back seat. They had me take them to a club. Gave me a nice tip. Which helped alleviate the mind fck I got that night head. My girlfriend told me that she once got thrown out of a cab because the driver was so disgusted by the s surely explicit conversation she was having with her friends. My dad is a cab driver and so is my uncle. My dad has driven everything from drug dealers who have got pulled over and arrested in the vehicle to celebrities. My uncle once drove home two hot girls from the bar who began making out and were eating each other out by the time they got to their destination. They said they had no money. My uncle said no problem and went home. Hot girl plan. Eat each other out and free taxi cab ride. It's a win-win. As a cabbie in a small city I have had this happen a few times. I give a married couple a ride home a week after I gave a husband, or sometimes wife, a wife to a different place. With a different person. It's uncomfortable. I've thought about being a white hat and telling the so. But who knows what their situation actually is. Had an extremely drunk guy tell me how he lost his virginity to his ex-wife and after the divorce he was so depressed that he let the church he was part of talk him into castrating himself. Saru yeah there's that. My boss moonlights as a taxi driver in the city about 20 minutes from my hometown. And she always has crazy stories about her passengers. Well, one night some friends and I managed to get into a bar in said city with some fake IDs and got super trashed. We called a cab at like 2am and guess who the driver is? My boss. Not only did me and another friend in the cab work in the same place. We both had to work the next day. Needless to say, our hungover asses had more shti to do than anyone else that day. She never told our parents yo. Each night when I return the cab to the garage. I have to clean the cum off the back seat. Some nights. I clean off the blood. Doesn't anyone remember taxicab confessions on TV? It's funny that you ask this question because just last week. At around midnight a guy in his 40s walked into my cab. He was extremely pissed because apparently a 22 year old guy stole his job by taking his idea about some computer hardware. He kept on saying that this world has no future if people keep on stealing other people's hard drives. It's not the deepest secret. But it's mildly interesting stuff. Also. I can tell you. There's a lot of people who think they have great ideas. But don't. Being in technology. I get no end of people who want to have me build the next Facebook plus Google plus Microsoft for 10% equity and no pay. No marketing plan. And no clue of what any of that means. A VC told me one time, ideas are a dime a dozen. Execution is where it's at. If you've got a great idea. But he has to then find a team to turn it into something. You are going to get a lot less attention than someone who can actually run with it. One time. I took a cab and the driver tried to sell me zoophilic PRN. Me and a buddy were talking to a cab driver last weekend about how his 8 year old son watches weird PRN. As we were getting out of the cab my buddy yelled. Tell your 8 year old to watch better PRN. So. He gave the driver a tip. Isn't that normal?